Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be looking at inequalities. And inequality is anything that is not equal to something. So, 3 is less than 4. They're not equal, so they're unequal. This is an inequality. And a lot of times you're asked to solve for an inequality. So you may be given 3x is less than 6. And they ask you to solve for x. And in this case, much like you would if there was an equal sign, you divide by 3 from both sides. You want to get x alone. And in this case, x is less than 2. Now, a lot of times you're asked to graph this on a long line. And a lot of times you may see 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2. And from here, anytime we have less than, we're going to draw a circle where this is. So we're going to draw a circle at 2. If this was greater than or less than, we would shade in this circle. But since it's only less than, we're just going to draw a circle at 2. And this says that x is any number that's less than 2, but it's not equal to 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to shade everything this way and we're going to shade this arrow too. So if they ask you to solve, x is less than 2 and if they ask you to graph it, it's going to look like this. You're going to draw a circle at 2 and you're going to draw a dark arrow the other way, which means it's any number that's less than 2. One of the key things that you always want to remember when you solve inequalities, we'll do 2x plus 6 is greater than 2. If we solve for x in this case, to get x by itself, first we need to subtract 6 from both sides. So subtract 6, subtract 6, and we get 2x is greater than negative 4. And we're going to subtract, or excuse me, divide 2 by both sides. In this case, x is greater than negative 2. As you can see here, the sign is not changing. But if you divide by a negative number, and we'll go ahead and get into what that might look like, then you actually are going to change the inequality sign. So we'll do negative 3x plus 5 is greater than, um, let's do negative 4. Okay? So First thing we need to do is get this 5 to the other side, so we're going to subtract 5 from both sides, and we're going to get negative 3x is greater than negative 9. As you can see here, to get x by itself, we need to divide by negative 3. And anytime you divide negative, now subtracting it doesn't matter, but if you divide by a negative, you're going to flip this sign around. So negative 9 divided by negative 3 is positive 3. Negative divided by negative is positive. So normally you would see x is greater than 3, but since we divided by a negative, it's very important that we flip this sign. So in this case, it's x is less than 3. So that's one of the key things that you always want to remember when you see inequalities. Anytime you divide by a negative number, you want to switch that sign. So we'll go ahead and take a look at one more example. Let's say they give you 2x minus 4 is greater than 5 and let's say they say x, or let's say they say negative x um, plus 4 is greater than 3. So they tell you to solve both of these. So first thing we're going to do is add 4 to both sides. So we're going to get 2x is greater than 9. Add 4 to both sides. And we're going to divide by 2 so we get x is greater than 9 halves. Or x is greater than 4.5. And then over here we're going to solve and we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. So we're going to get negative x is greater than negative 1. And then we're going to divide by negative 1 by both sides. So we're going to get x. And remember, we're going to flip the signs. So instead of greater than, it's going to be less than. 
and negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. So we have x is greater than 4.5, but it's less than 1. So if they ask us to graph this, and we had our numbers here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. <clears throat> First thing we would do is, it's less than 1, so we're going to draw a circle here on 1. And we would darken this all the way. And then we, it's also greater than 4.5, so we would draw a circle here at 4.5. And then draw a dark arrow this way. So a lot of times you're given two, and they ask you to solve for both of them, and then to graph it. And this is what it would look like. And again, remember, if it's less than or equal to, then we would just shade this circle in here. So this is inequalities. This is how you solve them. Always remember, if you divide by a positive number, you just keep the sign. If you divide by a negative number, you flip the sign. And if they ask you to graph it, this is how you graph it right here. So it says less than. It's all the numbers this way. And just keep in mind, if it's not greater than or equal than, then you just do a circle, and if it's greater than or equal or less than or equal, then you shade in the circle. So this is Inequalities. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you haven't checked out the website, themathworld.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.